I'm interrupting my usual kind of broadcast with this parenting video. If you are not into that kind of thing, just skip this one. Unboxing of out and about Nipper Sport Stroller B4 and Nipper Caricot. Seed liner, rain cover that's included, another kind of rain cover that we bought, bumper bar, Batman mask, I mean mudguard, two back wheels with pneumatic tires, that's what they look like from this angle, front wheel. And here is the frame. Release, I wouldn't force it, you have to press something. Oh, uh, it's cable time. So you don't need, look, you're not gonna need that kind of screw, are you? Putting the front wheel on is so easy, it's got a quick release. It will be easy to take it off as well. Left one on the back and the right one. They also got quick release. How do you get from this to this? Attaching the bumper bar so the kid won't fall out. Carry coat with hood and apron, two buggy adapters, I'll show you how to use them, liner and there is also a small mattress for a small person. It's packed flat in the box, you need to pull the metal braces towards the clips, it's gonna feel like you're gonna break it, but you just have to keep going. We are putting in the liner and the hood. We forgot to put the apron on for this shot. You can attach the carry cot to the stroller, remove the bumper bar, replace it with the buggy adapters and attach the carry cot. The seat in the buggy needs to be flat and the carry cot needs to face whoever is pushing the stroller. This is the rain cover that's included, but we needed this bigger one as well to cover the whole thing. It's all good but all three wheels are experiencing extreme wonkiness. The front one is even touching the brake. I had to disconnect it in this clip. They're gonna send us a new stroller, not just the wheels. Apparently, the manufacturer never heard of this problem. But you know what that phrase usually means. I'll put the link to everything into the description and thanks for watching.